The other method of reducing levels is by height of collimation method. And this this is a, is a method where, as we said earlier, it uses the line of collimation from the instrument to the known point or to where we made the backside. So in this case, the first thing that we'll do is, given that we know the reduced level of the benchmark, we will add the reduced level of the benchmark. So in this case, I'm going to add 16... 57.983 I'll add this value to so this 1657.983 I will add it to 0 0.578 that is the the backside reading and once I add the two once i add the two i will get i will get the height of the instrument or the line of collimation which is 16 1658.561 so when i add 16 1657.983 plus 0 0.578 I get 1658.569. So I'm going to use that height of instrument to subtract for any reading that was made at the same height of instrument. So I will use the same 1658.561. I subtract this value 1.768 and I get 1656.793. Then I will I will use the same height of instrument which is 1658.561 and i subtract i subtract this value 2.40 and i get 1656.111 i use the same height of instrument i subtract 3.005 i get the reduced level at station 4 to be 1655.556 so when i get to station 4 and upon the reduced level um i will need to get a new height of instrument because since there is a back set at that station it means that the instrument station was changed at that point so i will i will now add the reduced level at station 4 which is highlighted to i will add it to 0 0.567 so when i add 1655.556 to 0 0.567 I will get 1656.123 so that is our new height of instrument which i will use to get the reduced level of any point that was read with the instrument station at at that point with the same instrument station so th this instrument at this instrument station the readings that were made were those of station five six and the foresight at station seven so when it comes to reducing the levels for the three stations, I will take the height of instrument, 1656.123, subtract the value of the intermediate site, which is 1.888, and get 1654.235. Then I'll use the same height of instrument and subtract 0 0.987 to get 1655.136. Then afterwards, I will use the same height of instrument again, 1656.123. I subtract 1.679 and get the value of the reduced level at station 7 to be 1654.444. And then we realize that st station 7 is another change point that will mean that we need to get a new height of instrument. So you will add the reduced level that you have gotten at station 4 as 1654.444. You add to the backside reading, which is 0 0.705, and then you get the reading 1655.149. So that height of instrument is the one that you'll use to reduce the levels for station 8 and 9. So you'll have 1655.149, you subtract 0 0.612 to get the reduced level 
and then you use it again you use the same 1655.149 you subtract 0 0.180 and then you get the reduced level as 1653.339 thereby completing your the reducing of levels of that work by height of collimation method so again you need to perform an arithmetic check to confirm that your work is accurate or has been calculated correctly regardless of the errors because we'll, we will not be adjusting for the errors that have been made so what you'll do is you take the sum of the back sides you subtract the sum of the foresight and that the value should be equal to the Redu the last reduced level um, which is 1653.339 minus the first reduced level so again we get the same value that means that our work has been correctly executed from the start to the end so that is how you reduce levels by height of collimation method. Something to note or a difference that is evident in this case is that the height of collimation method, you get the reduced levels from the height of the instrument. You do not subtract from the, uh, from the previous reduced level, but rather you subtract the foresight or the intermediate site from the height of the instrument for that instrument station. In the rise and fall method, on the other hand, we were subtracting the rise or the fall, or we were adding the rise and subtracting the fall from the previous reduced level. In this case, in the rise and fall method, we are working with the reduced levels because the rise is for between is for two consecutive points. So you can either add or subtract from the previous con fr from the previous point, and that is how we reduce levels. Or, or that is how leveling is done, reducing of levels is done in the rise and fall method and in the collimation method. So I hope you learned something today. Um, have a good day.